Hey everybody, how's it going? This is H10 Hanshin Tigers English News back with a post show show. Today is March the 27th here in Japan. It is March the 26th, still barely over where Sanjay is. For another three hours almost. Oh, and not I even think... barely then. How's it going? Hey, yeah. I like your look today. I like, is that a, is that a batting helmet? It's a batting helmet from, from the 90s. Oh, love it. Love it. That's pretty sweet with the moko. Is that a hachimaki, hachimaki or is it not? It's a hachimaki, yeah. Sweet. That's so cool. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm wearing game here. I'm wearing a Let's see. Is that a new one? No, it's not. It's an old no, one. It is an a old game one. worn hat from Matt Haig, who played for the Tigers Ooh. in 2016. This is also his practice jersey from back in the day as well, which he gave me. So I just brought nice. it out for just for being a bit nostalgic uh, for a foreign player that didn't do so well, but certainly was one of the first to actually kind of tune into H10 back in the day. So my man, we just finished recording episode 170 of the podcast, which was our annual Central League Standings Prediction Spectacular. You need to all check that out and listen to what a whole bunch of people had to say about the Central League standings, where they think each team is going to finish. But little spoiler alert, as you could probably guess, me and Sanjay both picked the Tigers to win it all. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> because this year they are going to, because are, are, are. are, are. So anyhow, speaking of rankings, this is not a prediction or anything, but we are going to do a bit of a rankings on today's post-show show. I did this on Twitter about a year ago. Actually, it was right, it was a week after opening day. And I remember seeing, because I subscribe to all of, or I follow all of the official Twitter accounts for the NPB teams. And I noticed that every team has a slightly different way of announcing their starting lineup. The starting lineups are always announced around 45 minutes before first pitch. And the teams have different methods of introducing their starting lineups. And I thought, you know, some of them do a really good job and some of them not so good. And so I kind of created a little ranking, if you will, of how I thought they looked and how I felt seeing them. And of course, everyone else can have their own opinion about what they think. But I thought that Sanjay and I, since you know we are coming up on opening day, we can look back on close to opening day last year and how each team did with their social media, especially Twitter, to announce their opening lineups. So what do you think, Sanjay? Should we give this a go? Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Okie doke. So last year, again, I did I did this thread on Twitter um, in Japanese. So you'll have to kind of forgive the fact that you might not be able to read everything that's in here, but I'll kind of explain it. So here we go. We're at the very start. And we've got the ranking of the starting lineup announcements. And I've got for my B class, if you will, Hiroshima Carp in 12th, because they don't have an account. They don't even <laughs> have Twitter, my friend. Can you believe it? Oh, no. Then we've got the Tigers at 11. Oh, that's bad news right there. Yakult in 10th, Rakuten in 9th, the Giants in 8th, and Oryx in 7th. And then I explain each one. We've got them here. So shall we have a look at each team and how they do with their starting lineup announcements? Sure, let's do it. So again, as I said, um, Hiroshima does not have anything on Twitter. Next is the Tigers right here, right down here. So this is it. This is what you get, right? It says March 31st, C hyphen T. And then it says, here is today's starting lineup. And they give you a link. That's it. <laughs> That's not very visually stimulating, is it? So, bro, it's 2022. It was 2022. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so we got it right here, right? So you have to actually click on the link, which I'll do so that you can see what's going on. And it's gone now because, you know, it's, it's old. But that's what it would look like. It would look like the Hanshin Koshien scoreboard. So I still think that's pretty lame. Even yeah, when you I, get there. I, couldn't they at least put an image of that scoreboard embedded into the tweet? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. If yeah. you embed it in the tweet, at least people don't have to click on something to get out of Twitter. They can actually see it right in front of them. What is the yeah. incentive for people to go to a website? You know, if this were like 1995, I get it. You know, you want to get as many clicks as you can or whatever, but come on. Okay, so number 10. I've got the Yakult Swallows, and this is what it looked like. Basically, I believe it is Mr. Takats himself who writes this up, their manager. Yep. But it's got the date, their opponent, and then a handwritten um, lineup. 
Well, you know what? I actually think that's kind of cool. You're getting like a behind the scenes look. Yeah. And the actual hand, you know, the handwritten message by usually it's it is the manager. Um, sometimes they designate a coach with better handwriting to do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a you know behind the scenes look. Yeah. So it's not too bad. I mean, it's a significant step up from the Tigers. That's for yes. sure. Agreed. Uh, but I still thought just as far as you know this being 2022, which it was last year, that you could do a bit better than the manager's written thing. And this is like kind of the official thing that they submit to NPB, which again, it is kind of a look behind the curtain, but I didn't think it was that great. The next one is not so different from that. And that would be the Rakuten Eagles who simply take a picture of both teams starting lineups. Okay. Same, well, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Basically the same thing, just that you get to see both teams at once. So I gave it one step up from that. The next one is the Giants, which is again, kind of similar. They also just give you the handwritten lineup but they post it like this as a tweet and then they also have three pictures to go along with it so when, when you look at the actual tweet like this you've got right you've got the lineup and you can actually kind of filter through and look at each picture if you want to that type of right thing. right so why, why am i doing this why am i torturing my my people here you don't want to look at giants and neither do i my apologies my apologies okay, can, can we censor this when you edit it i know i should i should probably mosaic this right yeah, yeah. for real <laughs> it is quite forbidden fruit right there okay so next we've got the oryx buffaloes and this one i had a hard time with but i'll explain it so here it is and you can see here the reason that i did is because look the video is two minutes and 15 seconds long and basically they just took a video of well it's not a video of the scoreboard but this is what they would show up on their scoreboard at a home game right okay so it's pretty cool i mean it i like cool. it because it's very visual it's very appealing it's got a lot of moving parts and you can see the lineup Quite clearly, you can see each player very well. You can see their names very clearly. All kinds of things going on in this. My beef is, I don't know about you, maybe you're not as much as of a Twitter user as I am, but I'm not the type that just to know who's starting a game, like, do I want to sit there for two minutes and watch this whole video? <laughs> yeah, uh, I have to agree with you on that one. Like when I'm scrolling through my feed, I want to see who's starting in about 10 seconds. And then I want to move on. Yep. So, Agreed. you know, we've talked over half of the video and we've only gotten to the number five hitter. <laughs> so yeah, am this, I really... is the old, this is the old TLDR, right? Yeah. Too long to read. I would say so. I would say so. So as this is rolling, we can see what my ranking was for the latter half or the good half. So in sixth place, I put the Lions in fifth, the Bay Stars in fourth, the Hawks in a tie for second. I've got the Dragons and the Ham. And then in first, I've got Chibolate Marines. Okay. You'll have to excuse me here. I got I got a cough. <clears throat> and we're almost done with the Buffaloes. There you go. But we're going to not finish it. So too bad. Fushimi is the last one you get to see. Okay. So for number six, this is the Lions and their uh, starting lineup roster. So they've got kind of the illustration of the diamond they've got every player at their particular position plus the dh which is kind of cool and then they have a picture of their starting pitcher yeah so that's cool that's informative and you can get as much information as you want and look at it for two seconds if that's all you need or 15 seconds if you're more in depth right it's great uh you know it's visually appealing you've got all the players here and then you also have the order up here so that you can see you know not only who's playing center but where he's going to be batting yeah so pretty cool stuff. You also get to see who their opponent is, what time the game starts. And you, so you get to see a lot of the details that you want to see when you're getting hyped up for the game. The next one is pretty close to this, number five with the Bay Stars. Actually, I mean, the look is different. I liked what they had last year better than this. But they basically got their the rundown of their lineup. They've got the names. They're all in English, which is kind of cool. They've got information about the game itself. Uh, they've got the team slogan. And then they also have just nice, big, clear pictures of the players, which I think is really cool. Now, I can't tell from this. Can Do they show positions as well or no? Good question. Yes, right here, center field, right field. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. That was a good question. It is there. So if you're actually looking at the uh, tweet, you can see it. Got it. So you don't have the visual that the Lions had. Um, and you really have to look, as you said, for that information about who's playing where. So but the I next give them points. 
I give them points for having it in English. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we'll see some more English actually coming pretty soon. But now we've got the Hawks, who are not so different from what the Lions did. They've got a written or a typed form of typed version of their order, their hitting order. And then they've got the diamond, which also the uh, Lions did. But they've got the actual mug shots of each player as well, which the Lions didn't. Mm. That's why I gave them a little bit of a leg up on the Cebu Lions. But for our um, non-Japanese reading fans, they might have a little bit of an issue with who's who. Right, but you know, less so than with the Lions because you can actually see faces and you might recognize faces if you're a fan of the team. True, um, true. And I also rank these not based on you know a foreign audience, but rather just on the general audience that's going to be reading them. So for a yeah. tie for a second, I've got two teams. Um, one of them is all English. This is kind of like, a, just as you can see, it's like a 12 second video by the dragons. It's got all the information you need. It's all in English as well, right? All the names in there are in English. You've got all yeah. the mug shots of the players there, where they're going to be playing. You got all the information you need right here. That's good. That's slick. Yeah. So I like that. I really like this one. And that's why it got a tie for a second. And the ham were quite close. Theirs is also a 10 second video and it's pretty much the same thing. It's just that theirs um, is in Japanese. But, yeah. you know, looking at this from a, the standard audience perspective, I can't give one a higher score than the other just based on anything like that. The only thing that might is that I kind of like this font for starting lineup better than what they've got here, which is a pretty plain font. Mm, okay. But they're about the same. I really like this. Again, you know, you're you're asking for 10 to 15 seconds of your audience's attention and then you're letting them move on because that's all they want. So give them what they want in the time that they have. The number one, which I thought was just a little bit better than these, it's kind of a similar idea in that it's a short kind of video type of thing and that would be the Marines. This is what theirs look like. It's 20 seconds long. But they actually give you the nice big shot of each player. It's dynamic, yeah. It's dynamic. And you kind of can see a little bit about what each guy's all about in a sense. You've also got all the positions here on the left side in English, so it's very clear and very easy to tell. I just really like that. So they were my number one. And there you have it, Digital Media Marketing 101 by Professor T. Ray. And so you can guess why I'm writing my column about this for H10, Hunching Tigers English News, slash Daily Sports, and Toreba no Toreba. It's because... Come on, Tigers, step up your game. I had to put you in 11th place, and I hate putting you in 11th place. And I would have put you in 12th if the Carp actually got off their butts and got a Twitter account. <laughs> oh, my. So with opening day coming soon, I just can't help but wonder, are there going to be any changes, or are we going to see the same old, same old from the Tigers? And how are other teams going to step up their games or not? So just another way to kind of get excited about opening day, which... Sanjay, you're excited, are you not? Very excited. Can't come soon enough. There you go. So if you're not on Twitter, I don't know. Hey, how do you get your information about the starting members? Like, where do you look? Do you look on Twitter or is it somewhere else? I think it depends on... It depends on the day. I don't go to any single source all the time. Okay. I actually do I actually do go fairly frequently to the Hunching Tigers webpage. Hmm, Okay. So yeah, if you're down with just one team, I think probably every team posts it somewhere on their webpage. But for me as a Twitter user and as someone who kind of cares about most of the teams, at least to an extent, that's my one-stop shop. And so I expect better from my Hanshin Tigers and I hope that you do as well. Here's to hoping that 2023 is the year not only for a pennant, but also just a really great visual showing by the PR team and by the social media crew for the Hanshin Tigers. Because if those pictures and stuff weren't copyrighted, I would probably do something on my own. It's just that I don't want to be told by the team, hey, take that down. It looks too good and you make us look too bad. <laughs> <laughs> or, or they could they could hire you, put you on their payroll. That'd be another thing. But things you just don't know. You know, if, if it's one reaction or the other, I don't want to take the chance that they might take, the, you know, the uh, the snooty road and say, no, you stole our pictures, you jerk. <laughs> it's like... No, I'm giving you guys the attention that you should be getting. But anyways, that's where it's at. So thanks again for watching for today. Sanjay, thanks for joining me on this ride just to kind of explore uh, something different about the world of baseball in Japan and the Hunching Tigers. Hope you all enjoy this and I hope you subscribe to our channel. 
and check out some of our older videos and uh, just send us a message, leave us a comment, whatever you feel like doing. We appreciate you out there. Thanks for watching, guys. Opening day is coming soon. Are they all? Are they? Are they? Shy.